South Korea's National Assembly is now into the second half of its audit of government ministries and agencies. And the back and forth continued Monday, this time over the government's roadmap for energy pol policy, a possible interest rate hike, and the abuse of power under the previous conservative government. Kim min -ji reports. The debate is far from over. Under the microscope at the industry committee was the state-run Korea Electric Power Corporation, where rival parties clashed over the administration's decision, based on a public opinion survey, to resume construction of new nuclear reactors, as well as President Moon's continued pursuit of nuclear-free energy policies. Opposition parties called on the administration to take responsibility for causing confusion by temporarily suspending the reactor's construction, as well as the financial losses caused by the delay. The ruling party rejected that accusation, saying the process was a good opportunity to communicate with the public about government policies. Another point of contention was whether there will be a spike in energy prices. To this, the head of KEPCO said there are few factors that will lead to a rise in power bills over the next five years. At the Finance Committee, it was the Bank of Korea's turn. With mounting speculation that the BOK will raise its key interest rate, rival lawmakers questioned whether the economy can handle a hike. Last week, the central bank raised its growth outlook for this year to 3 percent, adding that the conditions were becoming ripe for a pullback on monetary easing. Lawmakers pointed to a string of uncertainties, such as geopolitical risks, pressure from the U.S. Federal Reserve's possible rate hikes, and the heftier burden that would be put on borrowers. The BOK governor said that an adjustment will be made when the economy shows it's recovering steadily and when inflation meets a target of 2 percent. He also brushed off concerns over an outflow of foreign capital, even if the U.S. were to adopt rates higher than Korea's, adding that a quarter percentage point hike locally would not cause shock to the financial market. At the Judiciary Committee, where Seoul's prosecutor's offices were under scrutiny, lawmakers traded barbs over irregularities under the previous conservative government. Issues up for debate included whether the intelligence agency under the previous conservative government meddled in politics, as well as the power abuse scandal that led to the impeachment of former President Park Geun-hye. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.